Yeah, it's just two guys doing a podcast about RC. Uh, let me t- if we're gonna do RC related stuff. Let's uh, first of all, I want to say uh, Dead Cell episode. I don't know what it's maybe nine, ten. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I have no uh, idea what episode number this is at all. So tomorrow, today is uh, Monday, August seventh, and tomorrow this episode is not going live. But tomorrow we're going live. So. If you're seeing this, if you're right listening now, to this, yeah, then you was. did not see that that happen. You did not. You might have missed it, but uh, Wait, this is not I'm a promotion. Now. Yeah, me too. Maybe I should count. Maybe I should have checked before we did that. But either way, this maybe. episode is going live a week from August eighth. So whatever date that is, that is when this is going to be published. So cool. I'm glad we got that out of the way. I'm glad we cleared the air on that one. Yeah, we just need to make sure that everything was clear and everything was was good. Um, but I wanted to talk about something that I'm working on. And I hope that if I can do if I can talk about it now, it'll give me motivation to get it done before this goes live. Uh, so I don't know if you've ever... Yeah, I know. It probably I know won't. that game because then you're just making empty promises all day. Well, I'm not promising shit. I'm just, I just know that if I give this information out, then I have to make the video because then the information's out there. Uh, So I'm working on this video where, you know, the RC car guys that drive like 4,000 miles to pick up a candy bar from Walmart, right? Yeah, yeah, they they go by Mr. Beast bars from Walmart. Yeah, they, they sit in their basement in their fucking fallout shelter full of concrete and somehow managed to have magical 1500 watt video transmitters that are able to penetrate all the world and get back to more amazingly is they're built into Ishin goggles somehow yeah Ishin yeah they have these goggles. amazing who would have known Ishin box goggles get better penetration than dji that's fucking crazy yeah so um i'm going to basically put that to the test i have a crawler I spent a good amount of time today soldering a bunch of peripherals onto a flight controller because I was just going to run iNav on it so that I could put DJI on it, but then nothing worked. The flight controller didn't work. DJI, I didn't even test that. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just, I found this, this Arduino code and I was like, I'll just, I'll solder the DJI to the Arduino board. Motherfucker didn't even turn on the DJI (laughs) transmitter didn't even turn on. So I was like, all right, you know what? This guy in this video had Ishin goggles. He had fucking, I don't even know what his video transmitter was. Probably some Amazon special, guaranteed. Anyone using Ishin? They also have a regular, they also have the regular RC car controllers, which are notoriously for bad range. You don't get shit oh, yeah. range on an RC car. So nothing I'm modified going, on that. So I have a TBS, um, the black TBS Unify, the the one that does not have the microphone on it, uh, mm-hmm. the analog transmitter that's up to one watt, and I'm just gonna put uh, just like a normal antenna on that. I'm gonna blast it at one watt. I'm gonna put ELRS, my Ranger on my on my radio, blast that to one watt, and just see how far I can get from my backyard on the crawler just through the neighborhood. Because realistically, the only way that that would work is if Walmart is across the street from your house and there's nothing else in the way. And even yeah, then, you're by standing the time, like on your front porch, it's across the street, the doors yeah. are open. Or you're on your roof looking down. I mean, because you I mean, as like soon as you go in the doors, your, your RC yeah, link is done. just gone. Yeah, it's all everything. There's no way that the, the video signal can penetrate that. Um, no, those are not real. Those, those videos are not real. So, yeah, but there, there are some videos that I found where I don't think he was implying that he was, you know, so far away. He's probably just like right, in the right. parking lot. Um, I've, I've also noticed all those videos. You see the 360 cam view, and you never yeah. once see the the FPV view. Yeah, you never know. You never know where they're. And some of them, it, it is sort of implicit that they're like somewhere else that you. It so it is implicit that they're somewhere where you would be if you wanted to send a car to get a get a snack, right? If you send your RC delivery car to uh the convenience store you're not doing it from the parking lot right that's like not inside the fucking store 
No, no, I'm saying like if you wanted to do that and that was something that you like desired to do, like you'd be sitting in your house. That's what you would want to do. So the implication oh, in an ideal. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So you. the implica so the implication that they're that they're presenting in these videos is that they are in fact just sitting at their house and doing that. Which I don't have yeah, I don't have a problem with that. It's it's the internet. Make content, do whatever. Um, but I just like exposing lies, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know they're filthy journalism. Liars. Yeah. Exactly. I've read through the so. comments on there and no, not I have have yet to see a comment on one of those videos where they're getting called out or questioned at all. There, there's yeah, no every like, like, oh my god, the, the man look at the store employees freaking out. Like that's so yeah, nobody's ever like questioning the video. Everybody just assumes that that goes with a lot of different things too. Like if people are ignorant about something, they'll just kind of assume that that tech exists. You know what I mean? It's, like when yeah, I so see um Here's an example real quick. The PK Kid, he's a famous New Jersey graffiti artist. PK Kid got the fuck up. He was up on water towers. He was up on buildings with no possible way to scale these buildings. Like It was on the news all over the place. Everybody's like, how the fuck did this guy get to these places? And I'd see people be like, oh, he's a drone. You know, They make drones that do that. He made a drone. Like, it, No, they didn't. No, he didn't. The first of all, this was in the 90s. Number two, like a drone does not carry a fucking enough spray paint to do a full throwy on a fucking water tower. You know, People just like exactly. assume shit like that. And how are you going to control? How are you going to do graffiti with a drone? Yeah, Katsu <laughs> is Katsu is the only person right now that's working on an autonomous graffiti drone, and he can barely do smiley faces. He can barely do a smiley face autonomously. Like, I mean, you yeah, can, you're not doing a fucking throwy. Uh, yeah, and even if you were doing FPV, you'd have to be really fucking good at like. I don't know. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm able to, with FPV, I might be able to draw something. We will be finding out soon. For like three years, I've been working on Graffiti Drone. I, it requires a 3D printer, which is now working. So Graffiti Drone is coming soon, especially now that I know how servos work. I have a whole little fucking 3D print I found. Fits a mini spray paint can. You put a servo on top. Psst, psst, it sprays the thing. So that, that will be happening this time? soon. Yeah. Uh, I asked Izzy already like two years ago if she would control the spray paint. So I control the well, drone. Izzy controls the can. You can. I can help you get it to just one controller so you can just do it. No, nah, it's fine. That's fine. I appreciate it, though. It's way funnier <laughs> if people try to do it. It, it is. It's, yeah, way, it is it's more also, you know what's good about you know it? I mean? Actually, you need to do more. Well, the thing is you need to. I think that's good because what you need to do is you need to make it seem like that's the only way you can do it. So people comment and correct you and say, hey, you can use one controller. But that's what that's the, how you get engagement. Oh, yeah, do yeah. So, but like, yeah, that's why, yeah, I mean, I, I, I stumble into my engagement. I'll do stuff and be like, oh, shit, I forgot to say that. Or like, oh, shit, I said the wrong thing. Like most of the time I do engagement tricks are complete accident on my part. It's yeah, so the two, the, two, the two radio thing, really lean into that on your video, I would recommend because it's like, but not, not too hard, but just make it more, more obvious that, um, that you didn't do the simple, a simple way. Because you could totally wire a servo up to... Uh, a flight controller and just do it that way. But it's funnier if you just have like another radio link with the yeah, servo. And then, yeah. And somebody else to yell at like the, like the uh, polar, I'll probably take the same exact servo off the Polaroid drone. Put that oh, on yeah, the yeah. Paint drone. Yeah. Cause I was trying to hook up a servo for my, cause the, the RC car needs like a head tilt thing, which all mm. I did was just E6000 the camera on top of the fucking servo. And, that's my head tilt. Well, it's not gonna, I'm not doing head <laughs> nice, tilt. Nice. I'm just going to use like a, I'm going to use the one <laughs> of the dials. Head, yeah. head pan. Yeah. I don't need to tilt because that doesn't make, it doesn't, isn't necessary. Just so I can like look left and yeah, right to turn. So yeah, yeah. that's um, cool shit. <laughs> yeah. So that's, but I'm probably going to use the controller, but I guess I could, you know how like the, 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 um, the goggles, the HG zero goggles have the head tracking port. Mm-hmm. You can plug that into that and you plug it in your radio and you can actually do head tracking. So I could like, if I wanted to, I could look like this. So instead of using your radio to do it. Yeah. But I don't know if I could do, yeah, I, I, think, gotcha. I think I could do that with just a receiver. Just like, a, cause I, I know airplane guys do that shit. Yeah. I, I don't have to look it up. Um, so that's, 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 Either way, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to see how if I can. It should. I mean, it's all set up right now. Basically, I just need to get out and try it a couple times and see how far I can go. I don't anticipate you gonna, going very far. Are you gonna like call out the other people that do this, or are you just gonna be like, I not, don't think this is? Real. I'm not gonna say anything about anybody. I'm not gonna because that's not really my gimmick. I'm not gonna be like this person YouTube channel is a liar. Uh, but yeah, I am yeah. gonna try to 
title it in a way so that people who may have watched that content saw it and can kind of see like what's really happening. Um, yeah, you got, I, I really want. Shit. Ain't nobody gonna watch it though. You gotta do like call, creator called out. The thing is, I really want to like, like. I know. I know. I'll I appreciate their out. contents, but I don't think this is that legitimate. You can't be. Uh, that. Yeah, I don't even know if I appreciate it as much as as much as I just think that. Um, I think it's clever, but uh, our our C YouTubers exposed. <laughs> yeah, our C exposed. exposed. What was it? What's that? That lovely couple that does shit. Twin, the twin sailor. There's like a husband wife team that do RC stuff. RC sailors or something. But yeah, you should call that out. RC sailor murders children. <laughs> there's a there's a <laughs> uh, Harley design RC sailor love triangle. The thing is, I was gonna try to you know give the benef- benefit of the doubt by using DJI O3 because it is the best range of penetration. Even though these people but, are clearly using analog. Well, I don't know. Some of them, I don't know what they're using because they, well. Ishin goggles only do analog. That particular that, one. That, that, but there's another video that I sent you too, where it's a guy has a whole channel, a bunch of shorts doing it. He, he they, does it where all he just the has a monitor. There's a few of them. A few of the people just have a, a monitor see him, that I see. But you don't see him at all. Okay, you don't see what he's you doing never see. The, you don't but see that the guy is, just. Oh, it's just the car. Side. That guy's standing in the parking lot. How do I get high? Now? Yeah, that's that's fuck. what my thought is: is that he's standing somewhere close enough, and then sending it in, which is fine. Yeah, definitely. Um, but the implication, but like, if you were really going to be, you know, if it's a perfect world and you're really going to try to do that, you'd be doing it. You'd want to be doing it from your house, and that's the implication that, that, that they're they're selling to the audience. That's yeah. like the so that's kind of where I'm like, okay, well, that's. Not even real. I so gotta I say that like, that technology that technology does exist, though. I mean that that does exist. You know, you see those um the four G fucking satellite driven cars, like the RC yeah. cars. They have like little steering yeah. wheels and they drive in real life. And that, those are real. That's an actual thing. So that does exist. I mean, even Orca had that four G uh, VTX or whatever, that five G VTX they were working on that never came out. Yeah, like so that like technology can... does exist, but I highly doubt these people are using that, especially from the gear they they've shown in the videos. Well, what I could also do, what I'm going to do then next, I think a part of the video I was thinking, I'm going to have to have somebody help me with this, um, but I'm going to put my phone, I'm going to mount my phone on the car and then I'm going to do a FaceTime from my, from like my computer or something. Ah. Oh shit. Because that, th- that'll go forever. Yeah. 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 A little bit of latency, but that will, but your RC and I'll link. Say, and I'll say that the RC link I'm not as concerned about because I'll use ELRS, which will do, which is too, which will do all right. But- on, on, not on the ground. All ra- the reason radio links suck in RC cars is because you're on the fucking ground. Get your signal oh, yeah. fucked up. The reason well, I guess I could. So much farther is because you're in the air. Well, either way, it's still going to prove the- it. I'll be like, the only way this is going to yeah, work yeah, yeah. is with with a with a, a phone. With a and I will with, say, with like cell service. So yeah. I could probably even figure out a way to control the fucker from an Arduino from my phone. Through cell service, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. You could. I oh would just have God, to put a phone on there. Do it. I'd put a phone. That should on be there. your video, doing it for real. Yeah, but I'd have to figure out how to. Oh wait, I can buy an Arduino. I think I can get an Arduino uh, self. Arduino cell data. Oh, there's an Arduino SIM. Oh fuck, dude! Really. Your video just turned it, into a month long project. Man, I don't want to talk about it now. Fuck. Well, fuck. I'll have to bleep all good this out. Only, good thing we only get a thousand views on these. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this one for some odd reason. Like, get the fucking million views. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, just make the thumbnail. It doesn't matter. Like, the, it doesn't matter. Someone <laughs> else could do this. Someone else could fucking do this and they'll do it in the most boring way. Yeah, it's five people already have, but nobody's seen those videos because they suck. Yeah, it's like it's like my my um, RC go kart that I'm working on is like there's a million RC go karts on YouTube, and I'm not worried about talking about it. But the the outcome of what I'm doing with the RC go kart is like way different, or I want it to be way different. I don't think I don't know if it's going to be better, but what I'm going to do with it is really what it's all about. Hmm. Which is basically You're just you giving know, away all of your secrets. I'm just going to strap a bunch of. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, right in the mic to it i'm just gonna 
put a put a guy on it, like a, a mannequin on it, and that's it. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> no, but it's kind you of like a perky projects. I'm just thinking this Arduino Sim, eighty five dollars, huh? And it takes a this, SIM card, and then you can do cell phone stuff to it. I would have to program. Yeah, I think I could like connect to it, and then, um, and then there's like there's pins on it. There's like, you know, like t like the Arduino pins that I could just hook up to you know, yeah. a motor, in a servo. <laughs> And then from my phone, I just make an app and I'm like, do the fucking thing, you know? Like I just build a simple app that just like, or from a, a web interface and just go move forward back. I'm sure someone already did it and I just got to steal their code. And then I just, yeah, be like, I did scratch it. Code you can paste. Yeah, it's like, I did it. <laughs> and then, cause really like the engineering is not really what, what I'm trying to highlight in my videos. The engineering is just the, the, the mechanism of what me, for me, it's just like, the trolling and like being funny with it. Are we talking about the go kart or the, the oh, shopping the, cart? Okay. Both of it. Yeah, both of it. Like, I, I, yeah, to be honest, yeah. I got lost about twenty minutes ago. All of it. Um, I forgot what we're talking. It's only about. we've only been here for sixteen minutes. So. Oh yeah! Wow, I checked out a while ago then. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube, let's talk about me. Do you like my new camera angle? Normally, it's over here, but it's here. I spent some money and I bought this, so we need sponsors. We need sponsors for the show. Nobody's hit us up yet except one person. And I forgot to met somebody hit us up to sponsor the show and I forgot to write I them know. back. So um how do you, they hit you up too? No, it's in the dead cell email. I sent oh. it to you. Well, we got oh, okay, that's right, that's right. Well, thanks to this week's sponsor, it's somebody. Um I forget who, but we really appreciate it. Cool. Good episode. Um, yeah, it was great. Uh, same maybe, time next week. And if they if they get back to you before we publish it, then we can put their thing in here. <laughs> yeah, we'll just put it in right here. But if nothing else happens, then we didn't get a hold of them. Exactly. So that's the videos you're working on. You're doing super sweet RC cart, RC go kart, and proving a bunch of people to be liars. Mm hmm. Nice. That's my dream. Good content. Good content. Just that's your dream. What YouTube channel is <laughs> proving people to be liars. Yeah, proving people to be liars and just like you know making people making people really mad. <laughs> did you ever? Did you ever watch that guy? That speaking of that, he looks like he was in a fucking meatloaf cover band in the seventies, and now he just calls out Christians and shit. He has like stringy ass hair. He's like a big guy. He's like a Satanist um, YouTuber. Meat he, Canyon. His whole shtick is he just like Meat Canyon. The, the that the guy the the animator? No, 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 know. no. He just there's just like this goth guy that fucking um goes to like Christian protests and shit and calls them out. Oh, I don't remember his fucking name, but that's basically I don't know, that's that's reminded me of you just make rage bait, just content that makes everybody angry. <laughs> just instead of calling out Christians, you're calling out just call out test flight. Just every video test flight makes be like, This is why this doesn't actually work in real life. Just call out all RC test flight test videos. Flight? Yeah, that no would test not flight. That. The big boys, not RC test flight. The big boys, test flight, flight test. What do I say? Flight test. I yeah, meant, said, I oh, flight, flight test. test. No, RC test flight's that? tight. Because well, you got to go for the, you got to go for the big boys to make a name for yourself. Even that's why like wrong? six. That's why six nine started beef with all the good rappers, so people will know who he was. Uh, Shit so like I'm that. Start it's, 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 start. A, yeah. Why do you think I started shitting on Rotor Riot? Um, I now I'm know. famous. Actually, no, you have I'm to talk kidding. about you got to talk about that. Someone, a lot of people we said just, you wanted. They want a couple people commented what? that they wanted to hear about that. Oh, why? Why dislike them and shit? Yeah, yeah I guess there there's was, a ton of new pilots that don't know. I feel like everybody knew because it was a big deal for a while. But <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I, I'll comment on it lightly. Lightly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. How much time comment you got? No, I I was on the team. I was on Team Rotor Riot, right, for like six months. I made a bunch of episodes with them and shit. But I was working for Quad Box. It was like a subscription drone box service. Me and one other guy, we ran the entire fucking thing. So I worked for Quad Box. They gave me $500 a month. It was fucking bullshit. And I was like, I need some more money. And they're like, well, if, if Quad Box does better, we'll pay you more. So they put me on this performance based pay that basically is just some fucking scam shit. But I worked my ass off. I, I 
did really well. And I was up to $2,000 a month. I was making two grand a month working for quad box. Cause I brought them in like record money, like more than they'd ever fucking made before <clears throat> me and me and the dude I worked with Michael, he was cool as shit. But then uh, I didn't want to be on the Rotor Riot television show anymore or whatever. I didn't want to be on the YouTube channel. I didn't want to be on Team Rotor Riot. I didn't like how they did shit. Bunch of bullshit. I didn't like how they were doing things. I don't like them as a company or as people. So I quit the team and then they fired me from the fucking quad box thing, which I get. It's intertwined. I understand it. But like that was my fucking only job. You know what I mean? So between all the bullshit that they gave me, like trying to not pay, not paying you for anything, trying to not pay for even our plane tickets to go film. One time I was filming an episode and I broke some shit on my quads and I was like, yo, I broke shit, not just flying for fun. I broke shit like flying for that episode. Can you give me a new flight controller? And they're like, no, Here, here's a, here's a bucket of a bunch of broken ones. Dig in there and see if you can find one that works. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Just a bunch of little things like that. Um, one of the female pilots left for them being real misogynistic toward her and shit and saying some fucked up shit like. The reason I left <clears throat> is just because I don't think they're good people. They're not a good fucking company at all. And now they sold to Red Cat, which just started off as a data collection company. And now they're uh, in the war profiteering business, I guess. They turned Teal Drones, if you remember Teal Drones, the family-friendly, easy-to-fly modular system, into a uh, into a nighttime fucking bomb-dropping drone or some shit. It just, it's all disgusting, so I don't want anything to do with them. And I have, I have issues with people. That's why. Does that make any sense? Is that just a rant? Yeah. So why did you, you left Rotor Riot, the team, right? Because you didn't like, you just didn't like how it, how it was or like what they're, because yeah, I didn't, like I that. didn't like the, I didn't like the people that are running it and I didn't like how they ran it and how they treated people at all. They're just, you know, they were a big company owned by venture capitalists. Profit was the bottom line. So you treat everybody like shit to get to that bottom line. And I don't, that's not the, the world I fucking live in. You know what I mean? Like you treat people with respect no matter what, despite, money like oh you know that's just business is not a fucking excuse in my world if you say oh that's just business then you're a, i think you're a piece of shit and you're choosing you know capital over fucking other people and I, I don't play like that and that's what they do you know what i mean like cool if that's you if you think money is better than fucking treating somebody with respect then that's you but that, that's not my reality so um really what it came down to is that uh they were basically cheap as fuck to pilots and treated pilots like shit for basically doing free work. Like yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. Be, being in videos, which those videos generated revenue, even if it was, wasn't a lot of revenue, it still generated revenue and it generated, you know, sales ultimately, but mm, they, oh, weren't, yeah. give, they weren't giving those pilots at that time. I don't, probably don't know what they're doing now, but they weren't paying those they pilots fairly those. enough. They were paying you least- fairly. From your I know at least three of the at all. I was getting paid at all for the television show, and I was getting paid shit money for Quad Box. Then what but, did you um, get for being on the team? What was the benefit? I got plane tickets to like Nevada and California and shit to film episodes with them. They paid for our B and B, and they paid for our plane tickets, which was pretty cool in the beginning, right? Free plane yeah. ticket, free Airbnb. You just spend like a whole day filming the whole other day surrounding. You get to hang out with their friends and make vlogs. Pretty good fucking deal. But then yeah. and they paid for your food. And then towards the end, though, they started just being real shysty. They didn't want to pay for plane tickets. They didn't want to pay for food. They didn't want to fucking do this or that. And it's just like not worth it but, at all. The first, but they like, still you know, wanted people to make content for free. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then I told them I wanted 200 bucks an episode. You know, I, I, yeah. I wasn't in every single one every week. You know, I just, if you want me in it, just give me 200 bucks. That's all I want. Very fucking small amount of money. And they just they didn't want to do that shit. So I was just like, I fucking quit, man. I don't want to, I don't want to be on your dumb YouTube channel anymore. Damn. That's what are your thoughts? Cool of them. What are my thoughts? No, I, I think that's <laughs> fucked up. I mean, like if you're going to, the thing is, I think that there's like a, there's this mindset that these guys have, you know, like I imagine that that dude that drew, I don't even know how old he is. He's probably my age or younger. He doesn't look know, that old. 30 or 40. Fucking yeah. Well, I'm 37. He's probably somewhere in there. Um, I just imagine like hit in his mind and like, you know, any other people's minds, they're like, oh, this is YouTube. It's not work. So we don't have to pay them. Like, and it might, may not have been something that they would have explicitly said, but it's it's sort of that that idea that's like, oh well, they're doing this because they, they're getting exposure. It's helping them. It's helping their channel. They literally told. They literally tell you that like you're getting exposure. You know, you're on the you're yeah. on the Road Riot channel. You you know, a lot of people are going to yeah. see you. Which 
Well, I'm then, so spending time and my energy and my labor to do stuff. So fuck you. <laughs> and and Trappy uh, a while ago had charted the Latin. It was me, Little Stellar Fox, and somebody else. It was like the latest three editions to Road Riot back then. He charted yeah. their subscribers, and it went down as soon as we all joined the team. Our subscribers, our watch time on our personal channels, all went down for some reason. And then once we all quit, the shit went way back up. I don't know what the fuck that anomaly was, or if anybody on the current team experienced that. But all three of us have proven data of our watch time and our subscribers going down when we joined the channel and then going up when we left. So it's, their their offer of exposure, you know what I mean, did not fucking do shit for people. Well, the thing is, you, well, did, go ahead. you had less time Drew, to focus maybe. on your content. Mm -hmm. You have, I'd have to see not the really, content. Because I'd make a vlog out of the trips yeah. and shit. Yeah. So, you know, I'd always be, I'd be making content the whole time. Um, I'd have to see the content and like, no, cause it may have been a thing where like the people who are going to watch content with you in it may have just chose the Rotary video and not even watched your video or, or subscribed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like a weird, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, there's, there, the thing, there's a, there's a fallacy in like, there's there, if you and I like lived in the same town and like we hung out all the time and like film videos together all the time, like your audience, it wouldn't bleed off onto me. It would be like very minuscule. Yeah. Um, there'd be, there would be a little bit, but it wouldn't be enough. And ultimately what would happen is what, what happens with situations like that. This is just like anecdotal based on what I've seen watching YouTube for the past, you know, my entire life is that you'll have like a famous creator or like a popular creator in a niche who then has like, a secondary person that they make content with for you know whatever reason and that secondary person never really seems to grow their own channel because like they're they they're not seen as some like to people they're not seen as somebody who's like even though they're doing the exact same thing and they've done they did the same amount of work they sort of came in after the fact to this other person so they essentially mm -hmm. become this sidekick in a they're sense. not as equal and, to that person yeah, and so be a bit below them. Yeah, and so like <clears throat> if they and the, and people think, oh well, if I go work with Mr. Beast, then my channel will grow. But it's like no, like it's not going to happen because no one gives a fuck about you. they when they watch Mr. Beast videos, they they like Mr. Beast or they like know they're Casey getting, yeah, like, like his brother, his brother's channel did not do well. And here's a good example. Here's a really good example I like to use. So there's so Casey Neistat, um, you know, famous daily vlogger. Hired this kid named uh, super talented filmmaker, probably more talented than Casey himself, is uh, Dan, that Dan guy. I don't know if you remember ever watched, what's his name? Dan, uh, fuck, I don't remember that dude's name. Um, but his channel was, is like, okay, it did all right. And I don't know if he was focusing on his channel in the way that, Ka in the way that Casey and I said focus on his channel. Um, but him, Dan was in a lot of his videos in the, back in the day. Uh, and it, like didn't really grow his channel. He just sort of was like just an auxiliary to it. Um, but he ultimately became like, he ultimately got like work out of it and he worked for discovery channel. Now he does like all the Mr. Beast philanthropy vi videos. Like he, he oh, nice. directs all of them. And those are actually like the only good ones that Mr. Beast has. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched one. They get recommended, but I don't watch any Mr. Beast. The philanthropy shit. ones are actually like, like, from like a like a filmmaking perspective, they're actually pretty good. Um, okay, the cinematography. Dan Mace. Is good in them. Dan Mace. Dan Mace. He's a he's a he's from New, he's from South Africa, and like you know he's a white dude from South Africa, but he's like mm -hmm. super talented. He did this like National Geographic, I think the Discovery no Discovery Channel, Discovery Channel like series he was doing, and he posted them on his YouTube channel or parts of them, and they were just so fucking good. It's just the stuff he was doing was just so good. Uh, just really, really talented. Um, but my point is, is that he was like sort of, he didn't really get build a following from Casey because he's like, he never really, he might've got a bunch of subs subscribers. Uh, but the problem with that is when you get subscribers from like somebody else and those people don't watch your videos, that hurts your channel. Yeah, a good example in FPV of that would be Le Drib. So the yeah, only so like, person I've seen get a ton of subscribers from being on Rotor Riot is Ladrib just because he's like the president yeah. or captain or whatever the fuck. But if you is. can't 
<laughs> but if you can't meet the expectation of that content, which he couldn't, you know what I mean? Then it's just a number and it doesn't mean anything. <coughs> so I'm looking at his channel now. He has 104,000 subscribers. Yeah. His last video was last was a year ago. And then two weeks ago, he put one out of a one with a one wheel two weeks ago. It only has 4,000 views, 100,000 subscribers and 4,000 views with the video about a one wheel. That's what's that fucking ratio? 4%, 4% of his audience, 4% of the, his subscribed audience cares to watch his content. I don't know what the numbers are for drone content previous to that, but that, that's a good example of that. Like if you're adjacent to somebody famous in this case, wrote a riot, People are gonna are gonna subscribe. Maybe, maybe if you're lucky, they did. Yeah. But they're not. They do, obviously people do not give a shit about his content. I mean, if you look at using Road Ride again as an example, they have three hundred thousand subscribers. <coughs> Their videos get like twenty thousand views. Like that's that's not fucking good, man. That is not a that, good number. Yeah, the problem is is that the reason that that ha- over time, um. The sort of YouTube's lifespan for content, I think, just in general, people's interest in things diminishes. So, like, if you, but if you're smart about it, you can maintain a pretty steady, like, viewership if you're able to deliver and not sort of change, like, not change, but I guess the, I, I don't really know what it is, but there are creators who are able to just sort of sustain uh, a, mm-hmm. a good, you know, percentage of views. And like, I saw your girlfriend in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a, a few like, um, uh, I've lost my train of thought. Like sustain just like a, a, hel- <laughs> a, a good number to what your, you know, what your subscriber base is. Usually what happens, um, is people just try to do shit that like nobody wants. You know what I mean? Like you get, or like another thing is you get like one really, really good video and then you get a bunch of subs and you try to, you know, meet that expectation again, but you can't because it was completely different than what you've done before. Yeah. So you just, you just, or you do the same thing 10 times. I've seen yeah, that. Yeah. Too. Yeah. 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 Like I've if I have people a, like, if I have a successful video, I just do another idea that is equally as good because then because you, like part two of a thing never is going to is never going to do as well as the, the first thing right ever. i've never seen a video someone did and then like they'd like oh the second one is doing better or just as good it's usually just <coughs> god damn it yeah so it's a psychology me, thing i i never really can't say never i don't anymore i don't try to make like viral videos i don't try to make YouTube videos for like a huge broad audience or anything. I try to do shit now that it's just fun for me and my patrons because my main income is my Patreon. So I try to keep yeah. the patrons happy. That's my fucking goal. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't care to do anything that's like a big review video for the general public. Like if I do a review, mm-hmm. like it's going to be some goggles or a buy and fly or something I got for free that, you know, the, the patrons might be interested in and maybe some general public. But I, I, I think that's where I, why I'm successful in this when a lot of people are maybe more successful than a lot of people in this is because I didn't do, I didn't rely on ad revenue. I didn't do the typical YouTuber shit. I went to write the fucking patron. I went to, you know, making my content for the patrons, doing with the pay, taking care of the patrons. That was my main thing. And mm-hmm. I, I guarantee I've one of like the, 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 Oh, I don't know how I say it. Not longest. Oh, what the fuck is the word? I, I I've had a steady following for a long ass fucking time. You know what I mean? If mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't have, I have people that have been watching me for six fucking years. You know what I mean? That still watch the live streams and shit. That still are patrons and still enjoy my content. I have people all the time that are like, hey, I got a drones three years ago, but I still love your fucking videos because they're entertaining. You know what I mean? Despite having, not, not being into drones. And that's what I want to try to, that's what I try to do is I try to just have an entertaining channel, have entertaining videos. My, in the future, you know, it might not even be fucking all have any drone stuff in some of the videos like i'm always going to be an fpv youtuber i was gonna do my drone shit but i'm down to do videos that have zero fucking drones in it you know what i mean like i got one coming out the one that just dropped today for patrons comes out next saturday that has what maybe 90 seconds of flying in it and that's it Mm -hmm. it's a 13 minute 13 minute video 
with maybe 90 seconds of flying. That That's the shit that I enjoy doing. I don't ever want to just, here's my weekend going to the office park and flying freestyle and going home. I am so mm-hmm. over making those fucking videos. You know what I mean? I, I, I need to be way more creative than that. I need to fucking have more fun making videos than that personally. And I feel like it's fun uh, for everybody to watch wacky adventures than just here, my, I here I am. Last night, Tyler pre- premiered that Sp- Spider Sugar premiered his video. And I didn't know mm-hmm. how long it was because they don't tell you on the premiere. It was like 47 mm-hmm. minutes. Holy but I watched shit. It. Holy shit. <laughs> I watched it all the I sat there and watched it <coughs> mainly because I was in it like a bunch. So, right. But uh, do you also, do you also yeah, was skip like, around your parts when you watch people's no, videos? No, no. It was, it was premiering and I just watched it and chatted or whatever. Uh, but that video was cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was pretty cool. That's the kind of stuff that I like is just like, um, creating like little sit, like chunks of life you know what people are doing that's like really in- mm-hmm. interesting to me um I, I like spider sugar fpv's videos a lot i like his style and he's not afraid to make a 57 minute video of his entire trip it's it's hard to it's hard to it's hard to to promote those videos though because i don't really know like if i want to make a video like that i don't know how to how to sell it because that's really all it is because if you can make a video like that it's really about selling it on the, and it was, the title and like thumbnail. an hour long the title no no just like the title and thumbnail making oh. whatever the idea is so like that's my whole thing is that i can make a video that means that's fucking just me bullshitting for you know like a 10 minute video of me just bullshitting around for a week or like two weeks or whatever and then i literally just find one thing that happened and i'm like uh can i sell this to people you think enough people will click this and watch it with this th- thumbnail and title that's all i really need so because most of my videos are kind of just pointless <laughs> it's like really no yeah, every youtube video is fucking pointless it's whatever well i'm well i'm saying yeah but i'm saying from like a like a, a story perspective there's really no like point to any of them at least like your oh, videos yeah, are yeah. usually like have like a, a actual point where it's like oh well, i'm gonna go find batteries i yeah, mean yeah. not find That's batteries. How i say organize oh wait I this have is to gonna have push. a that's whatever i have to have yeah. a goal and I learned, you know, super early on, set a goal. And then the wacky thing that happens on your way to that goal is what the video is actually about. That's what's actually yeah, yeah. interesting instead of your stated goal. That's still going to give people something to look forward to. But the fun ride is along the way. And then the payoff is if you do the goal or the alternative um, of the path. So this is actually a good segue into the meetup. So uh, mm-hmm. I obviously had to vlog a little bit for the meetup, but I don't think that strategically for me doing bot grinder philadelphia meetup is really like a a, that's not a good story for me to have a video for for meetup videos don't do well for anybody for anybody yeah anytime mine mine's not doing that hot uh mine's doing really mine's doing better than it should be i mean all my videos do better (laughs) than they should be uh but like it's still it is the meetup video right but mm-hmm. the way that I packaged it is not, and that's sort of my my is is sort of. Gotcha. That, yeah, I, yeah, I wanted yeah. to make a video about that experience, but I need to figure out a bit different angle that wasn't just like going to this place to fly drones with people in Philadelphia. Is like yeah, right, right. My my every time I make a video, I make it for, I'm I make it with the intention of, not people that already watch my videos because they're gonna click that shit no matter what. There's a, but the people who don't have never seen my videos before, that's what I put, that's what I create for every single time. That's I'm is, the exact opposite. Like I was saying, yeah, I, I make them for I the know. patrons. You make them for the, for people you want to subscribe, which is what most YouTubers do. They try to make it for <clears throat> a broader audience, but I just kind of zeroed in on my niche. You know what I mean? And it's, but both, then but when I both. do stuff like taser drone or fucking spray paint drone, when that happens or my Polaroid on a drone, like that's kind of for whoever you know sometimes things like that get picked up although anytime that i have tried to make something broad that i would like to go viral never fucking does i've I've never had any video except for my salvia one you know i'm almost three million views on that one or whatever Um, on the short instagram but uh, yeah yeah oh Oh, on instagram on the on the real the short the video itself only has like 20 or thirty thousand. it doesn't have that many my my biggest video only has like eighty eight thousand views well i shouldn't i fuck 88 it only has like eighty thousand views it's probably uh, because of the edible one. It's probably because of the um, the swearing. 
uh, yeah, I'm just not a good YouTuber. I'm not. I'm, I'm not guessing, good. Like I'm. I'm not a good playing the game YouTuber. You know what I mean? But I don't even believe that. I still don't believe that because I see some shit out there that's you know that should not be like that. We're still diesel. You see guy five of those be. for every five hundred. You know, Michael what? Reeves is another one. I've seen yeah. you see five creators that are just themselves cussing, doing whatever, playing possibly copyrighted music, not caring about copyright shit, <clears throat> not monetizing. You see five of those for every five hundred that do it not successfully. You know, but I, I but I think that there's actually a formula, and this is where my argument is. I think there's a formula in the editing itself that helps. That I think, if you care, you might be missing. I don't know if you are, but you may be missing. There's a formula, like. Not like there's like a specific formula, but there is something in the editing, in the video itself that's that is getting better retention, like like mm. titling thumbnails. Um, that's where I suck. My my title and thumbnails have always sucked. That's I know my shit is weak in that department, but the 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 one that I saw the other day that I clicked this video is this guy who said I powered up gaming PC with a ga gas engine, and it was his <laughs> face like for his face. And then him pouring gas on top of this engine that was on top of a gaming PC. So it was like, oh, okay. You know? But the, the video was about him like figuring out how the fuck he's gonna do this. Yeah. Um, obviously. It was an it was kind of an engineering video, kind of not. But uh that's sort of where I think the what I do. I for all your thumb do you use do you use screenshots from your video for your thumbnails? I do all the time. For the, I'd I, say 80% of the time. Yeah, but I find that like if you take a photo of your face and then like edit it, like high quality, use your like video light and then edit it in like Lightroom or whatever and like really brighten it and bring out the contrast and shit, they do so way better. So like, this is the thumbnail, real... <clears throat> the thumbnail for my new video that's on Discord right now. Yeah. I, I took that picture in my living room of me posing like that and I cropped it out and then I put it on this fucking... Uh, this picture that I got on YouTube and you know, Mo gave me that. Did you make your eyes bigger? Whatever. Yeah. I did the liquefy thing. So I did the, <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube giant. The thing is, thing. the thing is, is your face needs to be bigger. <sighs> Why would my face be bigger? That's just how it is. That's like, there's oh, a like a thumbnail there. style. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, like so, but see the fucking, um, are you looking at it right now? If I make, yeah. if I make myself larger then I'm not pointing at that vape anymore. Then my hand is like way yeah, you over. Have to, you just change the composition of the whole thing. Oh my god! I'm gonna do it right now. No, I don't think I saved that as a project though. It was a fucking. Oh my god! I spent two hours on a fucking thumbnail for the stupid fucking video, and this is what I settled <laughs> on. This is the one I fucking settled on, man. No, no I think you can't it's fine. see it at home. You'll see it on Saturday. Here, wait. Where's this fucking? Unless it changes. Oh, let me sh let, oh, I want to change it, but I'm so sick of fucking working on it. Where's this goddamn thing? I'll, I'll show you some motherfucking. The bullshit. thing is, all you really need is your your face, and you could do this, right? Like your face. Like look at my look at my screen. What I'm sending you messages. Do this. Right. Do something like this. Your face really yeah. close. Then put the trash can over in this position. You know, like Mr. B. Yeah, yeah like, it's like, but they, zoom in. I'm doing my look head like a bigger far. part of the fucking thing. Yeah. There, I say two messages on Discord. There's the one I made, and then the one I made on bottom, but Dro um, um, Mo added some shit to it to make it look better. But I don't know. I hate, fucking hate everything. I'm so bad at fucking thumbnails. I mean, I'm not horrible too, there's, at them, but... The thing is, they're too busy. Yeah, yeah. You know, this, think, they're, they're too busy. They're what really I want, ideally, stuff. for a fucking thumbnail, I would love just to take a screenshot from a fucking video and put that and upload that. No text. No fucking nothing. You know what I mean? Just like sometimes a fucking you can nice... if you're lucky. Sometimes, so you sometimes get a good if one. I spin with my camera and you get that blurry background and then your face mm -hmm. is fucking clear and shit. Those look cool and it gives it like motion and a sense of yeah. like maybe urgency in the video depending on the title. But for this one, this is kind of like a, I was trying to do like a, not a Mr. Beast, but like a YouTuber, you know, a fucking like powering drones out of trash fucking thing. If it's for this video, let's see, this is coming out tomorrow. Next Saturday, my video is coming out. I, I dumpster dive vapes and trash and I pull the batteries out of them and I power tiny with them. That's the video, video will be out but I'm having a fucking existential freak out. Oh yeah. This is coming out next Tuesday. So the, the video yeah. you'll see the video just happened. The video just uh, aired on Saturday, <clears throat> having an existential freak out about this goddamn thumbnail for this video. Cause I want it to do well. I use like five different cameras. You know, I have a hundred gigs, hundreds of gigs of fucking footage and shit. 
hours of editing. Mm. Like it took me a fucking minute, even just a simple video because of all the different camera angles and shit I did. I wanted to do well, but I fucking suck at thumbnails. Are you listening to this? And you're really good at fucking thumbnails. I will pay you, dog, to help me make fucking thumbnails for my videos. But if they suck and they're worse than mine, then I don't want to have to be mean and be like, no. You just pay me to do them. Uh, what are your thumbnails? Your actually yours are pretty good. Hmm. They're not. They're good. They uh, my my videos like. I don't get the views you get, but I also have like significantly less subscribers than you. But all of my all of my videos, except for like two, I have more views than subscribers. All right, on so all did, of my had, did you did you watch my new video yet? Yeah, I watched it. If you can make me a thumbnail and a title for that, a relevant title and thumbnail that you think will do well, let's do an experiment. I'll fucking Give pay you. Give me a really close too. face. Give me a really close up fa- picture of your face looking at the trash. Or something and pointing and then i'll do i it. have a fucking dropbox full i have a dropbox full of different fucking yeah. poses then yeah then let's just do that anyway and and just... you could just fucking make it larger right you wouldn't have to you wouldn't need a close-up you could just the internet you could just make it yeah this internet yeah. i can zoom in i want to make a folder right now and i'm going to put all my oh this is embarrassing there, there's a lot of dumb poses face feet dude i i I got to redo mine for the, my latest video too, because you can't really see my, I couldn't, I didn't want to bother with it. I basically just was like, fuck it. But I need to put my face in it. Cause they do really well. Yeah. I've, I've, I've found that. Yeah. You kind of got to put your fucking face and shit. My most look at, look at my second video ever posted. It's got 10,000 views. It's just my face holding a drone looking stupid. That's it. That's literally what I'm talking about. And that should be all of my videos, honestly, but I don't know. <laughs> Wait, which one? The second video ever published. Wait, I have to type in FPV or it doesn't come up. We got to work on that. All right. The second one you ever published uh, videos. All your money. All your money. A life lesson. That one. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know why that video did so well, but the, the thumbnail, I think, might have had something to do with it. I can tell you what the click through rate is, though. Hmm. A better. A better understanding of what's going on here. I feel like we're like not even podcasting now. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, back to the Dead Cell podcast. Uh, no, this is interesting. Yeah, yeah. People can look if they want to look. Uh, so life lesson you can learn from FPV. Did you know this video got me 492 subscribers? Wow. That is That's fucking insane. Yeah. I, 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 I guess... I average like a hundred per video because I get like three to four hundred a month. Put out four videos a month. Yeah, I get like all of my videos do like twenty to thirty with like three thousand, three thousand, three thousand. I get like fifty. Uh, wait, what is this? I never check that one? shit. My rampage won five thousand views. Um, That's good because you have how many subs? That one five thousand views. Wait, gave how many me subscribers 51. do you have? Almost, I'm at 18 uh, and some change. 1800? 1842. So yeah. Almost two. So you're, you're, you are, you're getting currently, you're getting way more views than you have subscribers on your videos. Does that mean Every people single hate video. you? Huh? That means, that means people hate you, right? That means they hate watch your yeah. videos. No, they'd be uh, subscribing probably. too, if that were the case. Do you, do you uh, say subscribe? Actually, do you say no. subscribe in your videos? Here's the thing. Never. I, I noticed a huge, a noticeably huge jump in subscribers when I started saying it in videos, especially early in the it. video or whatever. I refuse. <laughs> That's what I said, too. That's what I said, too. Started doing it. Big old fucking jump. Felt good. Kept doing it. So, And I forget now and then. I forget a lot, actually, to do it. But I try to, like, <clears throat> at the end, I'd be like, subscribe or whatever dumb shit. You know, like, I, try, I don't do it like a fucking subscribe and like, guys, leave a comment. I hate that fucking shit. But you can be like, subscribe if you want or don't. Go fuck yourself. You know, you can phrase it however you want. But. You don't right, have to be so a douchebag ex- about it. But if you want something, it does help. There's a noticeable. Oh no. This jump. is why it's weird. 5,000 views, 5.1 thousand views, 51 subscribers on the Vanny, on the fucking Rotor Riot one. But then on the, the one that's twice as many views, 10,000, 450 subscribers, or 492, almost 500 subscribers. That is, that's like, I don't know, how many more times is that? That's insane. Like, that's twice as many views. But like an exception, like a exponential <laughs> amount more subscribers for views. 
which is, I don't get it. I don't know how this math works. That, um, um that 2 million view video I got on Instagram brought me mm -hmm. like two to 3000 followers on there. So that's like, you know, ratio wise, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty fucking good. I'd say. I just think it's crazy that like one video, but no, never again, I was able to hit that. I can't believe that. That. Like that, bit, that was the second video I, too. That was so wild to me. I feel like YouTube gives new channels a fucking little, you know what I mean? Like, Oh, mm -hmm. they, maybe they make your first couple of videos broader they to don't. test it out. Cause it doesn't, it doesn't know what oh, niche yeah. it doesn't know who wants to fucking see it. So it, it makes sense for them to shop it wider and then kind of zeroed in from there. No, who the fuck are they going to uh, show it to? YouTube is not like TikTok in that sense. Like full, like the YouTube main videos are not like TikTok. So TikTok and Instagram reels. Well, no, it's not going to be front page or anything, but. And shorts. All right. So, so everything's front page if it's recommendations. So like the way that this, the way that, that uh, like TikTok, YouTube shorts, the way that that works is it just is showing people sh a video. It doesn't, they don't give a fuck. They're just like, all right, this video is up here now. Let's just do it. Let's just send it. There's full send. They start sending oh, this video. They give you the typical. I when I, I made a TikTok, I hate TikTok, but I made one to claim the name, and all it was was like sixteen year old girls in bikinis dancing. TikTok. If you're like yeah. a male, if you're a fucking 30, 40 year old white male on your phone, or I don't be white, whatever, male on your phone, you open up a TikTok, it's gonna show you a bunch of fucking gnarly shit, dude. That is the creepiest fucking app. I guarantee if you're yeah. like a woman and you, and you have it, then it's well, going to show you an entirely different okay, algorithm well, full of shit. My point is the algorithm there is they give you a boost in the beginning and they test your stuff and they send it to a lot of people at first. So if you have something that's like pretty good, like even a YouTube short, the way that that works, is it's like, all right, we're just going to send this video. And then the thing is, every time somebody sees it, even if they swipe away, that's a view. A view isn't like how it's just like they saw it. It viewed it. So like you can get a bunch of fucking views from shorts, reels, TikToks, etc. But YouTube, mm -hmm. the actual YouTube main YouTube is a lot more complicated because my first video that I ever published, I knew, okay, so if I'm going to publish a video, I can't just be like, I'm a drone guy. Let's do drone stuff because no one's going to watch that. Mm -hmm. I had to figure out like, what am I, what can I do here that is like you know, going to uh, get some sort of traction. I was like, I'll just find this, like, I'll just build this guy's drone bot grinder. Um, and so I just like went your description and I was like, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll just uh, build what he has listed here, which I don't even think at that point you were flying all that shit. Uh, I think it was it just be, in there. For, should be current. All my builds should be current. At the time, it was a. Fo I remember the camera was like foxier camera. Oh, the analog use, setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you used a. Did right, you yeah. use um? Use like a, a rush tank, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I bought. BTX, I bought. Yeah. yeah, and the hobby wing stack I always used, but I I think I used a sixty amp. But I know you told me later to use a forty five. But either way, I put the sixty. It's twenty by twenty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and so you know, I just built that drone, and I was like, all right, well, I'll just this is what I'll do. It'll. This guy gets views. I'm sure his audience will see it if I tag it. And yeah, I wasn't even, I wasn't even in the Discord or anything at that time. I was just and I didn't realize like uh that you were in a Discord just like kicking it with everybody or anything. So I was I didn't yeah, I could have yeah. probably I could probably would have been away. Make, make a Discord with my name on it and not be in there. Who the fuck would do that? Plenty people of people just make Discord. People, they just make Discords and they don't actually go in their own Discord. Well, if you got guys, you got guys who like YouTubers who have like you know uh, Discords that like run. Yeah, like I'm not a, talking about you, the big guys. I'm talking about yeah, people, that's like, a, FTV people. Yeah, but but like you have, I was like, I didn't really. Like, does Bardwell not hang out? Does Bardwell not hang out in the Joshua Bardwell Discord? I don't know, but I don't think Steel hangs out in his. Because I would I, I I see you. Steel Steel is a pretty, you know, he keeps to himself. Yeah, no. That that I could see more so, but. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that um, what about the I don't know. I, is that pop, is that one popping? Are I've never been in any Discord? of them. I think I got in the steel yeah. one for like a day and then I left. And then I can't get in the Bardwell one because I'm not a patron. So I might become a patron. Yeah, just so oh, I get in be, there. You have, to, you have to be a patron. It's, he's got a patron only Discord. Yeah. So the whole thing. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Mine's free. 
People, it's, yeah. people are. Uh, sometimes people are like, "Oh, I joined Patreon to get your Discord." I'm like, no, it's free, bro. But Discord's free forever. It's a free, pl- it's a free platform. How am I going to charge yeah. you to fucking go onto a? Well, free some platform? people do have pl- do have Patreon specific Discords, and I like a friend of mine in Columbus was like, thought that I was. He's like, oh, uh, I thought that Discord was for patrons. I was like, no, you just go in it. It's on, the links in his yeah, description. It's, it's a fucking free platform. You can't charge yeah. you on a free platform. Yeah, but either way, I, I like in my mind, I wasn't I was like. Um, I didn't know. I didn't realize I didn't put all that shit together. Either way, I just made that video because I was like, I know it's probably going to like. Pop off. Possibly. Yeah, the I thumbnail was good. Too. Really thumbnail was really off. good. I, mean, I don't know if your first gonna... video was <clears throat> like 7,000 views, right? Uh, Yeah. So here's the th- I'll also actually tell you what happened. So I published For it. first video. It was pretty good. Uh, it took like, it got 155 views on within the five days and then like day five, no day four, it started getting some views and I didn't even, I wasn't even looking at my shit. I was just like existing. And then I just happened to check it one day and it was like, I don't know, 1400 views on like the seventh day. And I was like, Oh, Oh, that's cool. You got, you saw it catch it. That's fucking awesome. That's That's insane. And and then you found a video. Go ahead. Then you found it, uh, and then po- po- talked about it on live stream. And people were people were like, "And here's the thing I want to want to like kind of like point out is I think people thought that you promoted it and then gave it views, and a lot of my nah, friends thought that too. They're like, didn't you post it in like a Facebook group or the background or Discord?' I was like, "No, man, I didn't. Sh- That's the thing. I don't share it because, and this is what I, this is kind of where my point was earlier, is that if you want like YouTube is complicated. If you want." to get your shit recommended because that's you don't want there's two ways to do youtube you can you can go the route where you you build a lot of search volume and so you do things like that people are searching for and hope that they watch enough of that that then youtube's like oh people are watching this it's search worthy let's then recommend it or you build yeah, subscribers like he also that. did a, a titanic rec video like yeah yeah whole shit, you know google trends and shit yeah Exactly. But if you do like a search, like a really niche search, like if I just did like my building the bot grinder demi bot, right? If that was the, if that was the title, like, or how to build it, how to assemble, or that would have been a search related video. And the problem with those is that people that are searching for stuff are not resonating with the people that are posting it. So therefore they're not watching it as long. So you're not getting the watch time through search. And the real so- key is to get watch time through um, to have YouTube recommend it. So I created a video that I hoped that I knew it would take a while because YouTube didn't know, like you said, they don't know who the fuck I am. They don't know my niche. So, but if I put your name in it, it it may like show it to like, let's say, let's just use, for example, like the people in the Discord, right? Let's say it showed it to like 10 people in the Discord. Maybe one person watched it. And they're like, oh, this is good. And they watched like, and then maybe another person watched it like two days later. And so it's slowly YouTube's like, oh, okay. This is kind of what I know right now about this, this video. We'll keep testing it slowly and slowly. And as long as people are watching it like long enough, YouTube's like, okay, well, this video is actually worth sending to more people. And then it kind of just mm-hmm. snowballs. So, but it takes time with YouTube. Unlike, you know, like I said, with the shorts platform or like TikTok, is those are just like blasting it. That's why you'll you'll post like a, a like you'll see people who are like FEV guys who are like thirty two subscribers and they're like I just posted a short and it got ten thousand views but it has like mm-hmm. three comments you know like yeah, you'll have yeah. a short it's like <clears throat> three and it's like well that's not good that's that's the way that I see it though like you could have a, a short with like ten thousand views or a million views fifteen comments and that's worthless. To me, I would rather yeah. have I would rather have a full length YouTube video that's like ten minutes long with three thousand views and like sixty comments, four hundred likes that people are actually enjoying because that's way more valuable to like the long term growth of a channel. So that's sort of like my the, point. <clears throat> that that two million video, whatever I got, my Instagram one that has yeah. like one hundred seventy nine thousand likes, like a hundred thousand yeah. or. I don't, actually, I don't know how many comments, but it's insane. Well, Instagram, people are arguing Instagram, with each other. Everybody was like yelling yeah. at me for stealing Big Money Salvia's video. People were talking about my teeth. Like, there's just so many fucking comments on that one that 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 really pushed it too. 
Um, There's a lot- I do want to comment real, real quick though. You were saying how you know if a video we're saying if a video does well, you can catch the trends and everything. Yeah. I had heard about that two years ago. I I had heard about that. You know, you, you name a video like another video to catch the views off that one. Two years ago, this video came out from Trent Palmer that was called "It's a Weird Time to Be a Drone Pilot." I don't know nothing about this channel. I just happened to see a video. It's a weird time to be a drone pilot. So that week I made a video called It's a Great Time to Be a Drone Pilot. It was just me and Ilbro flying drones two years ago. Nothing particularly special about the vlog. You know, it was whatever as far as like my vlog goes. 20,000 views. 20,000 views on that one. And I guarantee you that's because that video came out. It's a great, it's a weird time. And I made the video. It's a great time. I guarantee YouTube gave me a shit ton of views from fucking that guy. Yeah. So there's all, there's, it has a better idea of who to recommend it to. Cause that's a, that's a big thing too, is if you start a new channel without a specific focus, right? And you post your first video and you don't know who it's supposed to go to. YouTube doesn't know who it's supposed to go to. So maybe it's send it to somebody right. like, it sends it to a 13 year old kid in fucking Delaware who doesn't fucking know anything about drones. They're not gonna watch that video. So then YouTube's yeah, gonna be like, oh, that impression. Fortnite shit. Yeah, they're like this impression. Because you title it something that maybe YouTube thinks is close enough to something that that one person might like. Mm-hmm. But if they don't click it, it's like, oh, your click-through rate sucks now. Sorry, we're not going to recommend it anymore. So really, it's up to you to try to like really narrow in how you fucking sell these videos. So if you're starting a new channel, like that's sort of the the approach is just to like go in like with a very specific, narrow-minded, narrow like focus. And then it will hopefully if it's good but also like if your shit sucks it doesn't make a difference right too so and also like you have to also make good videos yeah i think like 99 percent good time, just entertaining <clears throat> i think 99 percent of the time when people are complaining about the views in their videos um it's because their shit's fucking boring or it sucks or it's not interesting to watch like that's that's yeah. really what it comes down to uh is and and like it like YouTube really what all they want to fucking do. They don't give a fuck. They, they, they say they want family friendly content and they want all this stuff. But like at the end of the day, YouTube's mostly concerned with just keeping people on the platform. So like the yeah, longer your videos, the ads, not e- sort of. Yeah. But like, just they like, want to show you ads. Why are they going to, they know, do. Yeah. Spend all that money they do. On server yeah. space. Yeah. So even if you're not, yeah. Even if you're not like monetizing your videos, your videos can still do well because if they're a part of keeping you on YouTube to then maybe go to another video where there are ads, right? If your right. video even is like directing people to other, that's another thing people don't, don't, don't ever talk about is like session time is that if your video contributes to the longer session time of multiple users, then that's very, very good. So even if somebody watches, like, even if your average view duration is only like 40%, but your video is like rec is, um, rec, being like in a trail it's in a trail to like other videos that are you know down the road and they don't drop if they don't leave the site from your video that's really really good that's uh, literally that's like- what the email said from <clears throat> when they started doing monetization on shorts yeah. literally literally they talked about the session everybody you, yeah. sh- you, sp- you split the uh, session payment and shit it's not per individual fucking video or whatever yeah yeah so like if somebody is on yeah and all of YouTube sort of operates in that in that way that like you have like a viral. If your video is like goes viral and like I've seen videos like all right my video is doing really well my average view duration is only like forty percent I thought the magic was like if you had to have it like sixty or fifty percent or something but like that's really I think that's like such a small. It's better if you get better wa- higher watch time but also like just keeping people on YouTube is really all I like, give a fuck about. So yeah, they, they just want you to stay on there so they can show you fucking ads and shit. Speaking exactly. of that, we've given we've given them an hour of our time so far. So hopefully you listen to this entire podcast and made YouTube some money and not us. We'll yeah, figure like out how to make money off this one day. One day we'll make money off this podcast. Can we monetize this yet? Already did. We'll make like we've forty made, cents per thousand. We've views. made six dollars. Really? Yeah. Ah, that's $6. pretty good. That's pretty good. Really. But also we that's have a, we have a, we haven't published a, a podcast in two weeks, so. What are you talking um, about? We, we've been we've done every single week consecutively. Oh, that's true. Maybe I forgot. You, yeah, what are you talking about? We've never missed a week. I forgot about that. We, yeah, we did. Who did we do last week? We had fucking um, that guy on last week. 
What yeah, we had what's his final name? Glide. We had final glide, final glide. We had final glide on last week, and then the week before we had uh, Johnny FEV. Oh, that was a weird one, dude. He got fucking really anti-Semitic. I did not see that coming. That was fucking <laughs> weird, dude. We had to cut out a lot of it, but if, you know, if you listen to that one two weeks ago, you'll you know right before it got super weird, we, we cut it out. Man, yeah. I, I yeah. Wait, who did you say? <laughs> Did you say Johnny, Johnny FPV? FPV? Yeah. Oh, wait, I like Johnny. No, that, that did not yeah. happen. I like Johnny FPV. Who do you think kid. I said? Jerky. I don't know who that is. Jer- jerky Boys FPV. I thought that's what you said. No, that's not what I Because we interviewed that. that that's, the one that's, that's the one that we couldn't air. That's right. The Johnny one was fine. He was just talking about racing and movies. But um, we, uh, we should... Do we do a patron? We might do a patron for this podcast. Yeah, we might try to nickel might. and dime our audience to fucking death. Yeah, it'd be motivation. I I doubt we'd miss two weeks in a row if we had a patron. If we had a Patreon, we would almost have to do. But then I don't know. We already have like patrons ourselves. Yeah, and then we were we're asking for more fucking money for the pot. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. We might we may be able to build like a separate audience aside from just from who Who the fuck who. I don't know. Maybe we just keep talking about. We got to talk about other shit besides drones then maybe. Although usually we don't spend that much time on drones on this podcast. I'm surprised by how many people are like really just interested in drones that don't even fly drones. Yeah. I mean, that was me for a week before I got mine, but a week? I, I <laughs> jumped into shit. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw drones. Yeah. I, or, I saw drones like that day or the day after I ordered my little kit. And then I just studied them for a fucking week. and was super about it. Oh, uh, fuck. I forgot. Oh, we didn't even talk about the meetup. I got distracted. What um up? oh yeah we did a meetup we went to philadelphia or i did oh that's right that was fun that was fun yeah, let's not talk fun. about it let's leave it a mystery so everybody comes to the next one which um yeah, i which don't we... know where it's gonna be <clears throat> st louis was sounding kind of good somebody brought up st louis and i was like oh i wouldn't mind that actually no Little dude SCL. no man. listen listen you hate st louis we're, no we're coming you're coming everyone's coming to ohio that's farther than st louis isn't it wait no, no that's ohio just the next pa oh yeah that is cool. like seven close. hours man What's a good okay? If we were to do it in Ohio, where where it's a good town to do it in, where there's so actually we would, shit well, to fly. Um, I'm gonna stop the podcast and I'll tell you. <laughs> Wait, is that the end? Are we just ending it abruptly yeah, yeah. like this? I, no, I well, we can end it now. So, no, I'm not gonna stop it now, but I'm gonna tell you where we're gonna. Oh, I'm gonna tell you about you. that stuff you. before I say all this shit on the um, podcast. This this has Not been that, an hour though. We should probably we should yeah. probably wrap it up anyway. I could also use some water. So let's wrap this up. All right. This is episode number something or rather. Maybe we'll keep track of it at some point. I appreciate everybody listening and for watching on the YouTube. We are on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. So if you're listening to this on Spotify, go subscribe on the YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, go follow it on Spotify so you can listen on there as well and make us look like we're doing better than we are. Maybe Hell one yeah. day. Uh, oh no, actually. This our our live our live episode already happened, right? By the time this comes out, I hope. Okay, so we're supposed to be going live. Wait, tomorrow or? Yeah, we're going to be going live on Bot Grinders channel, but the video the the shit will In be uploaded life. on. Yeah, possibly unless this comes unless out a week after. Unless we go live at nine thirty. <laughs> time is time is a construct. I don't fucking care much about time anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, I guess all I had to say. We'll be back next week for sure, except maybe it's live. I don't fucking know. We're, we're just going to keep doing this podcast until somebody stops us. That's the point of that. Um, yeah, until yeah, the FAA thanks. comes and takes it. Yeah, one, once the remote ID hits, we're going to become a um, RC crawler channel. I don't know. Yep. 